Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 31st May 2023, the Indian Air Force has showcased the capability of its Rafale fighter jets. The four Indian Air Force Rafales flew a long range mission over six hours into the Indian Ocean region. The aircraft fought their way through a large force engagement en route to their weapon release point. Today, that is on 9th June 2023, Air Force has showcased the amazing endurance of Su-30 MKI which forms its backbone. After Rafale, the Su-30 MKI undertook a mission of nearly 8 hours, flight covering both eastern and western seaboard. The fighter jet were refueled in mid-air via Ilushin IL-78 refueler. The 8 hours of mission endurance by a fighter jet is an amazing feast and shows its capability in maintaining the air surveillance and awareness for very long duration. As we all know that Su-30 MKI is a heavyweight fighter. It can act as a mini AVOX and can also act as a mini refueler. The aircraft can use Cobham 754 buddy refueling pods to refuel the other fighter jets. The fighter jet has internal fuel capacity of 9.64 tons which gives the aircraft maximum un refueled flight range of 3000 kilometers. With two in-flight refueling, the aircraft can achieve ferry range of 8000 kilometers. This capability of Su-30 MKI enables the fighter jet to maintain surveillance over Indian Ocean region and this is the reason why Indian Air Force has stationed its first squadron of BrahMos capable Su-30 MKI at Tanjabur Air Force Station in Tamil Nadu. This would provide protection to our island territories and sea lines of communication in the Indian Ocean region. The IOR is increasingly gaining importance and the presence of a fighter squadron with BrahMos will provide security cover to India's all strategic and vital assets in the region. Another unique feature of Su-30 MKI is its capability to carry out maneuvers at both high speed and low speed. So what makes an Indian Su-30 MKI different from the flankers operated across the world is that its beautiful integration of various weapons, sensors and avionics from all over the world. A lot of new equipment has also been incorporated into Su-30 MKI during the last two years including SPICE 2000 series of precision guided weapons which was used by Indian Air Force Mirages during Balakot air strike. The other three weapons integrated with Su-30 MKI which takes it class apart is BrahMos, Astra Mark 1 and Rudram 1 anti-radiation missiles. The BrahMos supersonic cruise missile launched from Indian Su-30 MKI can hit a target up to 450 km and another version of this missile having a range of 700 km and beyond is under development. The long range air launched BrahMos can take down enemy air defense system by staying much out of their reach. The Defense Minister has also cleared the acquisition of next generation anti radiation missiles for Su-30 MKI which would enable them to strike enemy radars from more than 100 km ranges. In November 2022, ANI has reported that Indian Air Force has moved a proposal worth Rs 1400 crore to government for acquiring Rudram next generation anti radiation missiles to search and destroy the enemy radar locations. The missile has a range between 100 to 150 km. Further, the integration of Astra Mark 1 missile having a range of 110 km and a maximum speed of Mach 4.5 has brought back the air superiority in favor of Su-30 MKI. In May 2022, the Ministry of Defense has signed a contract with BDL for supply of Astra Mark 1 and associated equipment for Indian Air Force and Indian Navy at a cost of Rs 2,971 crores under by IDDM category. In coming years, Indian Air Force has planned series of upgrades on Su-30 MKI which is going to further improve the capabilities and lethalities of the fighter jet. In May 2018, the Defense Equation Council had approved the design and development of long-range dual-band infrared imaging search and tracking system, in short IRST, for Su-30 MKI aircraft under Make 2 subcategory and subsequently for procurement of at least 100 IRST under by IDDM category. In April 2022, HAL and BEL signed a contract for code development and co-production of the long-range dual-band indigenous IRST for Su-30 MKI. The proposed IRST system 
will be a high end strategic technology product and will feature television day camera infrared and laser sensors in a single window for air to air and air to ground target tracking and localization it will be superior than the existing russian iist on su30 mki the design and development of iist may take another 2 years the new iist will further enhance the long range passive attack capabilities of su30 mki and guide the infrared missiles a radar is going to be the most important upgrade for su30 mki after the successful completion of uttam a radar program on 26th august 2022 The DRDO has formally completed a transfer of technology for the production of Uttam Radar to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The Uttam A Radar is being developed for Su-30 MKI is going to be gallium arsenide semiconductor based and will have much large number of TR modules due to the larger diameter of Su-30 MKI's nose cone. It is expected to feature nearly 1600 TR modules. It's also important to note that Defence Ministry has placed the import of radar systems on the negative list after LCA Mark 1A, Su-30 MKI and MiG-29 will be integrated with Uttam A radar. The process of integration of Uttam on these platforms will begin after 2025. The next component is DRDO's ASPJ which is being developed on gallium nitride based solid state asa jammer transmitters aspj is based on active phased array ultra wide band dr fm that is digital radio frequency memory and inbuilt cooling system the dr fm jammers are famous for their capability to severely degrade the adversaries radar and missile seekers ASPJ can even take input from Dhruti RWR and jam the source of RF signal. Cooling system is yet another important component of ASPJ which was earlier imported but now has been developed completely indigenous. The ASPJ designed for Su-30 MKI is a podded jammer which will be installed on the wing tip stations 11 and 12 in LH and RH configuration as a set. As per latest update from DRDO, the development of pod structure is complete and it is undergoing the qualification. The next upgrade which is already in its midway is Dhruti RWR. Back in August 2021, it was reported that Indian Air Force is going ahead with Rs 1000 crore project for upgrade of RWR for the fleet of 125 Su-30 MKIs. Again, on 23 March 2023, Embody signed a contract with BEL which amounts to approximately 950 crore rupees for 129 Dhuti DR118 RWR for Su-30 MKI. Dhuti DR118 is a 6 channel next generation digital radar warning receiver designed and developed for installation on any fighter jet, transport aircraft or helicopters. It intercepts and identifies airborne, shipborne and ground based acquisition, target tracking and missile guidance radars up to the J band frequencies. The identified emitters which is radars are indicated to the air crew by displaying corresponding set of symbols on the corresponding multifunctional display in the cockpit. A synthesized audio warning is also provided to air crew at the birth of each emitting source. The next upgrade is regarding the X Guard to decoy. Indian Air Force has also planned the integration of X Guard to decoy solution which will help Su-30 MKI in defeating advanced target tracking radar including monopole and low on receive only radar types. Indian Rafales are also equipped with X Guard fiber optic to decoy. The low drag and lightweight X Guard can be used in all operational missions in counter air to air and surface to air missiles it is stored behind the fighter aircraft and is deployable and retractable in the mid flight x guard can be deployed either when aircraft approaches a threatened area or upon detection of an imminent threat 
The decoy can be integrated with electronic warfare suite of any platform as a high value active suite component. In the retraction phase, the decoy is returned to its position under aircraft's wing and reconnected with the pylon. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.